Sinbad in the Valley of Snakes. The gigantic bird settled down on the dome, spread its wings over its head, and fell asleep. So I got carefully up, unwound my turban from my head, and made a rope from the cloth. Then I tied the cloth around my middle, crept up to the rock, and tied the other end to its thick, scaly leg, for I thought to myself, if the bird flies away, maybe it will take me to a land where there are people and cities, and then I will escape from this island. I was afraid to go to sleep. What if the rock flew away while I was sleeping? So I spent the whole night sitting with my back against the rock's egg, my waist tied to its foot, waiting for it to wake up. When the first light of the sun glowed red in the sky, the rock stirred. It spread its wings and rose up off its egg, carrying me with it. We rose so high into the sky that I thought we would leave the earth altogether and travel into the darkness of the air beyond. And below me, the island and its dome were the size of grains of salt scattered on the blue of the sea. Finally, the rock flew over land. Little by little, it began to descend coming closer and closer to earth. As soon as my feet touched the ground, I began to untie myself. I was shaking with fear. What if the rock took off again? Or what if it saw me and pecked me up from the earth like a grain of corn? But the bird never spotted me. And as soon as I was free, I ran away from it as quickly as I could. Soon I saw it snatch something from the ground with its enormous claws and rise back up into the air. It carried a snake as long as a tree and as big around as a man. I kept walking until I found myself at the edge of a valley. Through the valley ran a river too wide to cross, and tall mountains stood all around the valley's sides. Then I thought to myself, I should have stayed on the island. At least there I had fruit to eat and water to drink. Here I have no food and no water and I can never cross those mountains. Soon I recovered my courage and began to climb down into the valley. As soon as I put my feet to the ground, I saw that it was studded with diamonds as big as my fist. I filled my pockets, my turban, and my cloak, all full of diamonds. Perhaps I can make a raft, I thought, and float down the river until I come to a city. But as I came close to the river... I saw that the shores were swarming with snakes as big as palm trees that would swallow an elephant in one gulp. I was too afraid to go further. What can I do, I cried. I doubt. I will never escape this place. And where can I sleep to be safe from the snakes? For night was beginning to fall. As I staggered along, weary and frightened, I saw ahead of me a flat place with a cliff rising up above it. Eagles circled around it. As I watched, a piece of meat fell from the cliff onto the ground, and an eagle swept down and seized the meat. I looked up. There, far above me, were men. They were throwing down large pieces of meat into the valley below, and then I saw that this was how the men of this land got diamonds out of the dangerous valley of the snakes. When they threw pieces of meat down on top of the diamonds, some of the precious stones would stick to the meat. Then an eagle would swoop down, seize the meat, and carry it back up to the land above. As soon as the eagle settled to eat, the men would run at it, waving sticks and shouting to scare it away. Then they would take away the diamonds that had stuck to the meat and leave the meat itself for the eagle to eat. As soon as I understood this, I ran and grabbed hold of one of the pieces of meat and held it up over my head. An eagle swooped down on it and seized it with his claws. Then he flew back up out of the valley, with me dangling beneath him, holding onto the meat with all my strength. As soon as my feet touched the mountainside, I let go of the piece of meat and ran towards the men at the cliff's edge. They were disappointed to see that they had caught only another man rather than a handful of diamonds. But I said to them, Don't worry, I am an honest man, and Allah has delivered me from the Valley of the Snakes. Out of gratitude, I will give you some of the diamonds I have brought with me. 
Then I gave handfuls of diamonds to all of them. When I told them my story, they were amazed, for no one before had ever come alive from the valley of the snakes.